I'm here today with Daniel Massengale with On The Fly Excursions, and he's gonna show me his favorite patterns for going after trout in the spring. All right, Daniel, what are your five favorite patterns to throw in the spring? I always start with stonefly. That's the base meal for a Southern Appalachian trout, but that is a staple fly for me. Next, you got worms multiple styles of worms one of the more famous ones san juan worm they come in a thousand different colors depending on what you like water clarity what you're feeling i say fish san juan worm and of course everybody hates this fly but i love it can't go wrong with squirming worm it's a must-have every fish in the world freshwater eats worm mm -hmm. then i would say your smaller nymph patterns you got pheasant tails you can have bead head, non-beaded. You can hide the bead. Then you got hare's ears. So these out of these two right here, you're mimicking either a mayfly, a stonefly, or a caddis pattern. Just base base flies. And you got to keep it simple. So with the stonefly, do you have like stages of that fly that you like to start off with? That's a pretty big fly right there. Is yeah. that the one you're throwing? So it depending on the time of year. And, of course, water temperature is a very big variant in it. The warmer the water, the bigger the fly. Okay. So I would say, like, say, November, December, I'm throwing a size 18 to a 16 stone fly because you get the winter stone hatch. They're small. Right. Now, as we progress into spring, you start bringing out the 14s, the 10s, the 6s, because that's when the bigger golden stone flies are coming out. Okay. So you kind of match it to when these bugs are coming out. Okay. With the worms, what tells you, hey, I want to throw a worm here? What are you looking for that's the perfect condition to throw a worm? Or is that just something that works everywhere? It, I would say it works everywhere. Um, more of a high water, stained water situation right. after it rains, because everybody knows worms come out after it rains. Mm -hmm. They fall into the creek. Um, I like fishing them in the wintertime, too, because those fish go after high-protein meals. Right. And a big worm, that's high-protein to them okay. versus sitting there eating midges all day. Okay. They can eat two worms to 500 midges and be full. Right. That's the way I look at it. So with those setups with the stonefly and the worm, do you, you rig them like a hopper and a dropper? Do you ever pull anything off of them, or are you throwing the worm on the bottom of a rig? N normally, if I fish a worm pattern, it's my bottom fly. It's the bottom fly. Yep. What would you put on top for like a worm? I would say a stone fly or a bigger nymph pattern. A bigger nymph pattern. Yep. You can put like a 14 or a 16 hare's ear, pheasant tail, just whatever variant of bug that you want to throw as your weight and then let that worm free flutter. Okay. And then as far as the nymphs that you picked up, uh, what would make you throw a nymph as opposed to the worm? It'd be a picky fish situation. Uh, some more fish that are that are kind of spooked, you would yep. go to the nymph. I always go smaller. Right. So of those right there coming into the spring here, which of those would you most likely throw for a wild fish? I would go with the smaller nymph patterns and the stonefly, of course, too. Those are three natural prey items to a trout. So they're going to seek those out before they seek the other forage out. Okay, and the worms, you can go for the stalkers and the wild? Everything. Everything hits a worm. Yep. Everything that I have laid out right here would be my go-to for wild or stock. What's your favorite of those? I'd most definitely go with that patch rubber leg stonefly right you there. You like that stonefly? Love a stonefly. Sounds good to me. Well, there you got it. There's Daniel's five patterns right there for springtime trout. Well, I hope you guys learned something. I certainly did. If you like this content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. We got a lot of other videos we'll put down in the links below. And guys, check out our Live Well podcast every Thursday night from 8 to 10. We appreciate you, and we'll see you soon.